Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode, episode 2. So this episode will be sheeting the frame that I've just built in episode 1 there. Um, as I said in episode 1, I have lost some footage. So that footage lost was like the end of the framing stage and the start of uh, the sheeting stage. So uh, I believe in the framing video, I said that I'd be doing the sheets horizontally and I ended up changing that uh, vertically. So, yeah, tune in. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. So I was taking a bit too long to uh, do a time lapse there, but uh, I'll just get up this end so I'm not pointing into the sun. Got the bilge on. Still pretty rough along the edges there, but uh, I'll clamp that. Clamp that down with some uh, glue and some more screws once I put the uh, the side panels on here and meet it up to here. And uh, yeah, once it's all, once the glue's all dried and uh, we've got the side panels on and that sort of thing, we'll start filling all the cracks and the screw holes and that sort of thing and fair it out a bit. 20, uh, 12, 20 wide. So I won't worry about cutting the uh, Cutting a curve there, I'll just cut a straight line. Measure from the floor, from the floor up to uh, the start point. Measure 12, 20 across. Measure down to the floor, and I'll just transfer that to the sheets and just rip it straight across. And uh, I'll just fill in the bit of a gap with uh, the filler anyway, because I was gonna gonna be filling there anyway. It's not that much extra uh, extra filler, and I'll be sanding that spot anyway. So may as well uh, make the paneling a bit quicker. But uh, yeah, I'll get stuck into that now. Alrighty guys, it's the next day again. I've uh, sort of lined these sheets up now, uh, the way that I did it. <coughs> so if I come over here, I've actually panelled them up ways. I think uh, in one of the previous videos or um, parts of the video, I said I was gonna do it across ways. But uh, it worked out better going up ways, so Last night, I just uh, came in here and put doubles on the joins just to even the sheets up, screwed them all in and uh, glued them. So I'm just taking the screws out now and uh, I'll sand the outside, get the laminex off just on the joins and uh, bog it and bear it with uh, builder's bog. But uh, yeah, I did that on every join down the, uh, down the hull bit hard to see with that sun coming in the door there but so this is all still lumpy though need to uh, glue and screw that one next but uh, yeah I'll take all these screws out and uh, fair it up make it all nice and smooth Yeah, we love the single air family up something with the bulge right now. Georgia, what is the story? But then my mum and my dad went over to Northwest for holiday. Alrighty guys, late night in the shed. Got work tomorrow, so uh just about to wrap it up. But uh today, you've already seen that side sheeted. But uh today Got this side finished, just uh, sheeted. It's uh, got some braces in there, I'll show you those braces. What I've done is uh, braced up, uh, it's gonna be a bit dark in there, we'll see how it goes. So I've just put a, uh, a bit of the same board on the back and just screwed it in from the front there, I'll show you. So that's just um, like getting the the boards flush with each other. There's still a bit of a ridge there, but uh, it'll hold itself together there. I've glued it as well. So um, once the glue sets, I'll pull the screws out. And that's what I've done on this side already on one panel. So uh, yeah, pull the screws out. That's, uh, 
that's what I'm left with once the screws are out. I still haven't done that uh, that top seam there yet, but uh, I'll get to it. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm left with. And then I've just buzzed it down with the sander to make it all nice and level there. And then I'll just uh, fill that with the bog. And uh, paint it up, seal it up again. And then that joins finish. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's a bit hard. But uh, it's a little bit lumpy there. Some of the battens that I put in across. If you remember when this was at frame stage, I had battens across. Um, some of those were actually pulling the, the sheet in. So I had big dips in the side. You can still sort of see on a, a bit of a dip there. But uh, what I did was back those screws out, put a piece of this behind it between the, uh, the sheet and the batten inside, and it's sort of made it a bit fairer. I got a little bit, bit of filling to do there, but uh, that, was, uh, that was expected anyway. So, um, yeah, that's about uh, where we're at. I'm back to work for eight days straight now, so progress on the, uh, on the build will be a bit slow. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of how far it's come along. Still got a lot to go, but uh... All right, it's been a few days since I uh, since I worked on the plug here. Been on uh, on the whale boat a fair amount now. Our other skipper's gone away, so I'm sort of the only one. But uh, I was coming here this morning before work. I'm not sure if this is a temperature thing, so uh, I'm actually knocking off at uh, lunchtime today. I've got a yeah, transfer over to Fraser Island, but uh, it's a bit hard to see. I'll show you guys in better light, but uh, there's starting to be a fair bit of. Oh, there's a good one. Where's that? There. Yeah. Fair bit of warping in this MDF sheet, so I don't know if it's a heat thing. It's very early in the morning at the moment. Very cold and. Uh, yeah, very foggy outside. So I'm just, uh, yeah, not quite sure what's going on there. Maybe the uh, MDF sheet was a bit too thin and it's not <clears throat> supported enough. Maybe I should have put more battens in it. So it's going to be a bit more fairing than I thought, but uh, I'll check it at lunchtime and see if those sort of heat out. But uh, yeah, not the best. The other side's worse it's probably gonna be harder to see though mm, a bit harder to see don't worry about that up there I haven't finished screwing that off yet but yeah I'll see that's all right like I said I'd rather uh, I'd rather just nail down one half of the mold than build two 52 foot holes and fair those whole things out so a little bit of fairings to be expected, but uh, I'm gonna go to work now, and uh, I'll see this thing at lunchtime and get stuck back into it. Alrighty guys. Testing out the uh, the brand new GoPro that I got for Father's Day, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start filming on that instead of my phone. And I found out that it's uh, it's actually showing up the defects really well, which uh, which we'll have a bit of a talk about. So um, if you remember before, I went for the Laminex panels because it was going to be too hard to do the uh, the strip planking but uh, yeah I figured out that I probably should have done like maybe like a plywood skin first and then put the laminex on to seal it up just because uh, I'll just if you can see all the uh, all the whoops in that it's uh, up the top, isn't fully secured yet, so don't 
don't uh, don't look at that too much. But there's some bigger ones in the uh, in the middle. There's two that stand out a lot there. One there, one there. So uh, yeah, gonna have to uh, do a fair bit of filling. So these sheets aren't supported in the middle on the uh, on the stringers yet, and I uh, I avoided that because it would pull the the uh, the panel in and make some dints in it. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I made this a symmetrical design. So I only have to fill and fair um, one quarter of the boat anyway. So. Still going to be a bit of a pain, but uh, not the end of the world. So, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll probably secure all the uh, all the top and that sort of thing first. I've got some more screws. I'll put uh, put screws every 150 probably, and uh, whatever's kicking up after that, I'll just put a uh, a screw in it. I've got the whoops and stuff in it now, but uh, like, I don't know, I, I don't mind them there, like the the uh, buckers are traditionally carved out of a log, like they would have had whoops in them and that sort of thing. Two reasons that I want to sort of get them out though, one is uh, if you can imagine like you had the straight sides and you had a whoop in it. When you go to demold it, that uh, that bump is actually going to lock the uh, the boat into the mold. I really, really don't want the uh, the mold to stick to this one, but uh, we'll see how we go with that anyway. I'll put some more research in it, but uh, yeah. So like, I'm not I'm not uh, hundred percent worried about what the boat looks like. Like, I don't need it to look like a uh, a uh, brand new catamaran sort of thing. All nailed straight and that sort of thing but uh i just have to watch out for design flaws that are going to kick my butt later like i just explained like those uh those whoops in it uh if they get my boats well i'll only get one if it gets stuck in that uh in that mold i'll uh probably have to start again so i was getting on about uh midday now uh, it's a pretty hot day, I guess. Not uh, not cold by any means, but uh, starting to think that these whoops are due to weather, like shrinking and uh, expanding and that sort of thing, because uh, there was quite a few whoops in this um, this morning, and all I've done is screwed the uh, the top row and sanded the the joins, which uh, wouldn't have done anything to the uh, to the whoops that were in it and they're pretty much gone now. It's just it's actually uh, yeah it's actually looking pretty fair. So that's a bit of an issue. So the uh, the whoops in the side of the boat are starting to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, this side's actually pretty good. The other side that um, puts the drama. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. I'll try from the other end actually. Hang on. Mm, it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, yeah, there's just a whole bunch in this side. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's happened. I, I did both sides exactly the same, but I don't know. I just remembered that I did actually buy two more sheets than I needed. So I'm half thinking if I actually, while the screw holes aren't um, all filled up, like the screw heads, I'm sort of thinking I might cut the, um, 
cut the joins, those backing pieces that I did, and unscrew these panels and screw a new panel to it, and try and see if I can screw it a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit tighter or whatever to make it fit the to make it fit the frame a bit better. Another thing I was thinking, when I sheathed the first side, so when I sheathed this side here, it was quite a bit warmer. So I actually sheathed this side at night. So I'm wondering if uh, when I sheathed it, the MDF had either expanded or contracted to a different size or different, yeah, sort of like a different, um, yeah, I call it different size. So when I screwed that side on, it was either contracted and now when it expands, it pushes all the uh, all the warping into it. So I might, uh, like I got those two sheets there and for the time that it will take me just to zip those sheets off, put these new ones on, would be heaps if it, uh, if it actually does fix it because uh, sanding bogging and sanding all of that is gonna take some time so it's worth a shot i'll give it a go okay guys we'll end that episode there it's uh it's gonna drag on otherwise but uh yeah next episode i'll actually resheat that side and we'll get into the start of bogging and fairing all the joins there but uh as of today in real time the uh, all the joins and all the warps and everything have pretty much made their way out. Only very little filling to do. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.